It's time for the moment you've been waiting for. You already know what we're gonna do. You know what this video is, and let me tell you, <laughs> I wasn't gonna make this video. Let me explain. I wasn't gonna make this video because I just felt like it was a little bit pointless and like nobody would really wanna watch it. But then there also is the side of YouTube that really likes these videos and these videos do really well. And that's not the reason why I'm doing this. It's, I mean, that's partly the reason why we're doing this. Let's keep it real. The reason why I wanted to do this for myself in general was because I thought about it and I was like, okay, listen, this kind of sounds childish. It kind of sounds like a dumb idea, like a summer bucket list. Like, what are we, like five, you know? But I sat down and I reflected on all the summers of my past. And all the days leading up to summer, my parents would say, yeah, we're going to Disneyland. Yeah, we're going to the beach. Yeah, we're going here. And then the last days of summer roll around and we haven't done anything. After analyzing certain aspects of my childhood and even now to this day, I don't really do much in summer. I honestly think I've developed like a concept. What's the word? Is that what it is? A concept? Can't think of the word. I think it's concept. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'll put it right here. I've developed a concept about summer. When people ask me, what are you doing for summer? I'm always like, oh, I don't know, <laughs> nothing. And I kind of joke about it, but then I end up doing nothing. And it's like, whose fault is it then? Anyway, the point of this tangent is that I haven't done much in the summer in past years and I wanna do more this year. I feel that if I created a list and checked them off one by one, I'll be more inclined to wanna go out more, to make more plans, to see more friends, and to just have fun this summer, which is why I have created a list of about 24, 25 summer bucket list ideas, which I will go over with you right now. So number one, I wanna have a sleepover. I haven't had a sleepover in like four or five years where I just get together with one really good friend or a bunch of really good friends and we all just hang out we just watch scary movies do face masks watch the sunrise and just have fun I haven't done that in so long and now is the time to do that because you know you're not gonna be doing that like later on in your life when you have kids number two I really want to go wine tasting I know this may sound I don't know if it sounds weird. I think it sounds cool. I have always wanted to go wine tasting ever since I saw it like in the movies. It looks so sophistical. So sophistical, oh my God, bitch. Whew, sorry, I'm so sorry. My brain's in summer mode right now. Okay, it looks so sophisticated and so elegant and you're just that bitch. Okay, if you go wine tasting, you're that bitch. And I wanna be that bitch this summer. Okay, let's, let's not sugarcoat it. I want to be that bitch. <laughs> a lot of my friends are 21 already, so hit me up if you want to go wine tasting. I really want to go on a road trip. Hop in my car and just go. Just drive. Just drive in the roads. I really want to go to Six Flags this summer because I haven't been to Six Flags since my middle school promotion, which was quite some time ago. And, um, I really want to go because I do like roller coasters. I really want to go to an escape room. I feel like I'd be good at it. I don't know, I just have like an inkling that I'd be really good at an escape room. Number six. Let's go to the beach. Beach. Let's go get away. They say what they gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. It's, what time is it? Like four in the afternoon? It's like, it's crackhead hour. It's five. It's just crackhead hour all the time for me these days. Yeah, I wanna go to the beach because I wanna go every summer. I know that's like the most basic thing ever to do for summer, but I love the beach, so I really wanna go. Number seven, have a movie night. I really just wanna have a night dedicated to just watching movies. Bunch of movies, a bunch of snacks, a bunch of homies, a bunch of... I don't know, laughs, dude. I, I just want to have a dedicated movie night. I do. And I'm gonna have one. I really want to make it a point this summer to read at least two books. Since I've been in school, I just like anything with textbooks or just books or just anything, just, just work. I'm just like, ugh. I really want to read for pleasure. And I actually bought that one book, You're a Badass, today. I don't know if that's gonna be one of my books that I want to read this summer, but I definitely want to read that. 
and two more. I was contemplating putting this on my list because it's a little bit cheesy. It is, it's a little cheesy, but I really wanna go on a picnic. Picture this, a picnic by the beach. Beautiful, perfect, cute photos, cute time, cute memories. It's just gonna be cute, trust me. Number 10, I wanna make that money, okay? Since it's summertime, I really wanna make sure to grind, to be making that money, to be clocking in and not clocking out. Okay. This has to do with some of you, okay? I really wanna meet an internet friend in real life. I'm looking at you, Miss Caroline. But if anyone else wants to meet up, I would love that. We can go to the beach, beach, let's go get away. Go to the movies, go to LA, we can watch a show, we can do so many things together and it'd be so fun. Number 12, I know this is kind of basic, but I've only been thrift shopping once like, successfully and it wasn't even really a thrift store. So I actually want to go to like a real thrift store and successfully thrift shop. Two words, bedroom makeover, okay? I've been meaning to make this happen and summer is the perfect time to do that. So I've had this idea since the beginning of the year to completely and successfully do a bedroom makeover. I want to just document the entire process and I'm so excited. I want to visit a new city. I don't have an idea of which city I want to visit yet, but if you know of any interesting cities in California or maybe somewhere close to California that I could visit, drop it down below. Love to hear from you. I need to do this one. I really, really want to go zip lining. I just do. I really do. I want to go to an arcade. I haven't been to an arcade probably in like 10 years. There's one like about an hour away from me, like an actual arcade. So I'd love to go. I really want to eat at Raising Cane's. I've heard a lot of mixed feelings about this restaurant. I don't know why, but I want to try it for myself because there isn't a Chick-fil-A where I live and there also isn't a Raising Cane's. Both of them are about like an hour and 30 to two hours away from me, which is why I haven't had the chance to try it yet. Now that I've knocked off Chick-fil-A off my list, I want to try Raising Cane's. I'm not like super excited or anything, but I just want to try it and that's really it. I want to set up a play date for my dogs. So I want to like have Choco and Zoe meet up with my sister's dog and maybe my other sister's dogs and just like all get together at a dog park. Oh, we can take them swimming or something. My dogs don't get enough like time in the world, you know? A lot of the time they're just like in the backyard or they're here with us. Occasionally we'll take them on walks, but they never just, they never see the world. And I'm like, oh, I love you so much. I want you to see the world. I want you to make friends. I want you to live your life. I'm gonna do something for them and I'm gonna set up a little play date. I wanna go night swimming with the girlies. Just swimming at night. That sounds like a fun time. I wanna take a family vacation. I haven't taken a family vacation with my sisters in so long, so I think that'd be really fun. I think it's long overdue and that sounds like a good time. I wanna stargaze up 74. There's like this like high freeway, highway, road? <laughs> it's called Vista Point, I think. It's like a windy road up a mountain where where you reach the top of it, there's like an overview of the city. And I feel like a combination of the city lights and the stars up above, I think it'd be the perfect place to stargaze. And I love looking at the stars because I've always, I, dude, it's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy because like I've always felt like the stars are like the past, you know, like they represent the past. And I've always like came up with stories in my head, like what if the stars are like people from the past and they're just like looking down on you and blah, blah, like I totally stole that from Lion King. Look at the stars. There's other things that I've said, basically revolving around the past. And if you think about it, like science proves that the stars that you're looking at up at the sky, those stars are like I don't know how many years old, like billions of years old. The stars that you see right now, those, I'm like looking at my ceiling like there's stars. <laughs> those stars are from the past. Those stars are old. That was your little astrobiology lesson of the day. The next one is to stay at the Taco Bell Hotel. If you didn't know, they're gonna be opening up a Taco Bell Hotel in Palm Springs, very close to where I live. It's gonna be like a hotel I don't, how do you explain that? Like with Taco Bell? Taco Bell themed, also they serve Taco Bell, probably like the room service is like a Taco Bell menu. 
it, it looks insane. It sounds insane. And I really want to try it out. And hopefully I get to stay there. I'm on a wait list right now. Um, they haven't like started checking people in for rooms yet. So I'm on a wait list. Fingers crossed that I get a room because that would be so cool to make a video about. And the last thing on my bucket list is to just do some random acts of kindness. I want to make sure to not forget to spread positivity, spread love, and just pay it forward. I think that's the saying. Just continue to give and just make people happy, make people smile. And that wraps up my summer bucket list. All right, guys, well, that's it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know if there's anything on my bucket list that you would consider doing for the summer. I'd love to hear from you. I always love hearing your feedback and just answering your comments and just talking to you guys. I love that. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below for new videos every single week. And as always, I love you guys very much, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!